Welcome back to WWE 2K24, my GM mode. I am your host, a tax slug, and I apparently signed Braun Breaker to not a long enough contract as he's ending here on week nine, which is the week before pay-per-view, but that might get all boned up because of Paul Heyman anyway, so the question is, how much does Braun want to re-sign, but also my least popular available bruiser for a health spot three card which i maybe i need that we'll see but we have some things to do some things to book some nonsense to get into here with a brand new member of the roster in one cameron grimes but also i might just use this network special card on the show today but also raising the morale for 25k what is mine Roster's overall morale. Who is unhappy? So happy, straight-faced, happy, straight-faced, kind of not doing great there, Sami Zayn. Happy, very happy, happy, straight-faced, very happy. Andre Chase is also, yeah, not doing great. Straight-faced, straight-faced, and a straight face for Precious Silva. So I don't want to lose the great liberator, Sami Zayn. So I might just buy that card for the show. But does that card preclude me from working that talent on the show today? Or is it just, hey man, it just does the thing? You know what? Let's just do the thing. Because I don't want to risk losing Sami Zayn. So even more cash being spent on the show. And I'm running out of budget. Good God almighty. So Sami Zayn, cheer up, man. Yeah, now he's just straight face. But hey, not mad about it. So... The question now is how much is Braun Breaker going to want when he wants to renew his contract deal perhaps tomorrow or at the end of today? Who can say? So otherwise, I have two assets and no money to spend on assets. I'm not going to buy that email campaign today. Not happening. we got to book a very cheap show, I do believe. So continuing main eventing with Shinsuke Nakamura and L.A. Knight. Yeah. Because what choice do I have? They are at level 3 on their rivalry. This one is going to be non-title. And we open the show with our what? I guess EO Sky and the Jobber opens the show. Yes, that is our other level 2 rivalry. So I also want to keep in mind things like... Uh, I wanted to hire somebody else to be in our women's division besides EO. And I wonder... Well... I need a new feud for either Bailey or Charlotte, and I don't know which one yet. But also, yes, so we do replenish the talent scouts each and every week, which is good. But also, I just don't have the budget to really do what I want to do with them. So, I think what I could accomplish here with a Cindy Fluff for one week... We're going to spend as little as possible here. So one week for $1,800. So Cindy Fluff, because we know we need one thing. And that one thing is going to be more Fatal 4 Ways. So not a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh-uh. Fatal 4 Way. We add in the one week Cindy Fluff. And we add in the Queen, Charlotte Flair. Because, wait, no. We add Bailey instead? Yes. Because Bailey has more stamina. So let the queen rest up here a little longer. And there is your fatal four-way. But no, there is no title on the line there. Meanwhile, in the mid-card, tag teams play. Because we know that Andre Chase, after this match, gets 15 more in his popularity. So put that one there. And again, non-title to preserve some amount of... Of stamina, we have uh, Sami Zayn, and we have. Mm, do I run Gonta and Braun Breaker on this show? That is a very good question. I might need to do that, but Gonta is a 20. So Gonta, Braun Breaker have excellent stamina. The thing is, I also don't want to risk losing the title. To Braun Breaker and then him leaving if he costs too much on his contract renewal. So did I make any other promises here to any other people on this show? 
So contracts, contracts, contracts are expiring very soon, and I don't know that I had the cash to have them renewed. So that's going to be an immediate problem here, unless this show makes some money, and it needs to. But I'm going to change here and say, you know what? Gunta always deserves to be in that main event. So doing that with Gunta and Braun Breaker. And otherwise, right now, my show cost is zero. But I still got to book some promos. So the call out from Sammy to Argus goes in this spot here. Because we need to have matches just in case Paul Heyman does what Paul Heyman do. That's 3k on that. Otherwise, how much on another charity promo here from Charlotte Flair? We'll do that. It is $12,000, so that's 15k for our budget. And I don't know what is a free thing to do. Advertising is free, and Argus can advertise, but that's really going to take down his pop, and I've been trying to build that training. So 5k for Argus, giving us like 20k on the show to get him some in-ring experience for something. If he sticks around, I don't know if he will or not. If perhaps it's a bad investment, we'll see. But certainly, the crux of Sammy's promo is you aren't good enough to face me, and therefore he does some training and has like a montage or something. I don't know. So otherwise, in terms of cards, yeah, we're going to use that special card here and increase that fan ratings. Yes, we need that. And you can't use it on PLE, which you would obviously love to, but not the case. And so we have completed Triple H's goal here, which is excellent. So we're going to get that card for that. But also, we've also got another Fatal 4-Way. And we're going to get, hopefully, um, all right. Yes, more on the call-out promos. And that one should be done today with the match with Andre Chase and that power card in play. Because we're at 218, and we get 15 from that power card. So, easy peasy. But I don't know what else is going to be close. So, the trade thing, I've done one trade. I've done one Fatal 4-Way so far. I've not spent anywhere near the million. I've not had that much in the bank, and that's going to be not even a thing I can do. I've done zero interference so far. If I do seven more call-out promos over the course of this playthrough, then I'll be okay. So, we'll see. Anyhow, uh, tomorrow is the go-home show, but on this wild Wednesday, let's lock in this booking, 20k, and it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Alright? Alright. Now then, opening with that fatal four-way EO Silver Cindy Bailey. It is... Precious Silver. It was two and a half stars, and now Fluff, who's only here for a week, is not. That doesn't matter. But hey, that also did not increase. Okay, so opener did not increase EO and Silver. The promo did not increase Sammy and Argus. That's a fail and a fail back to back. Mid card tag teams. Chase and Buck lose to Wilson and Waller, two stars, and also did not increase the rivalry. I'm just not doing great today. It's bad. It's a bad Wednesday. What excellent from the Queen. Woo! Mid-card, Nakamura, L.A. Knight. It is Nakamura. It was three and a half, so that's going to be not good booking overall. Ten. On the XP for Argus the Great. And your main event, Gunta Braun Breaker. Gonna be the Ring General. It was three stars. And again, did not increase. I got nothing this show. I got nothing for anything I've had going on this show. What a waste. Meanwhile, Logan Paul, Tony D'Angelo. Non-title standard match, and Tony gets the win again. Four stars. Amazing. Piper calls out Katana Chance. It was good. Two to three. Blair and Zoe back at it. Two specialists, and it is indeed Blair with the win. It was three stars. Good. Austin Theory, A-Town good. Let's spectate a bit of 
this one. Because maybe putting Alexa in the thumbnail will actually get me some more views. I don't know anymore, man. It is what it is. The champ is here. Nobody meaner than Tamina. Thanks, Cole. Much obliged. Tamina going upstairs. Superfly Splash. Is that enough? A one, a two, and no, the kick out. Alexa Bliss with the comeback. Will she hit the signature? Will she hit some Twisted Bliss? Twisted Bliss! Is that enough to put away Tamina? Referee, hello, bro. Oh, rope break. I'm like, what are you standing there for? Up to Brett's rope with the knees. Insult to injury. Is that enough? One, two, three. Yes, it is. Four stars. Amazing. And a Tornado Tag Team main event. Non-title, your winners, Randy Orton and Julius Creed, it was four stars. Amazing. Meanwhile, on NXT, opening with the women's title, Rhea defends against Wendy Chu with a Mitch and Mia Yim run-in. It's gonna be still Rhea Ripley, who can stop her? Three and a half stars. The call-out, Kenneth Mahala, it was good. Mid-card, triple threat, Otis, Balor, and Ludwig Kaiser, it is... Otis, I'm coming. It was three stars. It was a good match. So, Valhalla still cutting them weak zero pop promos. Dum Dum, Braun Strowman. It is uh, Dominic Mysterio. It was three and a half stars. Great. And your tag team title main event, Gable and Hudson defending against Wolfgang and Sanga. And it is and new NXT tag champs three and a half stars and finally wait is this your last week on ecw or did you bilk me did paul send you to bilk me out of eighty thousand dollars i'm very upset if that's the case or are you fulfilling your contractually obligated last night on ecw because i don't know i thought i poached the talent and Gulak wins, and it was three and a half stars. The call-out, GG to Zaya Lee. The mid-card, they don't know where to put Clay Courtney, but Clay and Omos versus Taker and Carmelo Hayes. It's gonna be Taker and Hayes. It was okay, two and a half stars. Self-promo here from Zaya was excellent, plus three. The mid-card, uh, Baszler and Stratton. It's been Baszler all day, or day. And finally, it is Tiffy time. Three and a half stars, great. Apollo Crews, can't lose, plus one. Main event tag team, Truth, Champa, Dijak, and Big Bronson Reed. It is Dijak and Reed. It was three and a half stars. So I had a poor finale. I should have not done what I did. I thought flipping it would help, and that I, I misguessed myself what else is new. So I had that, uh, then we had amazing booking for SmackDown, good job, Tay Long, uh, good and good. Of course, Teddy gets amazing with a main event tag team match, play up. On Raw, we did that number because of the power card and made about 60k on that. So, yeah, that was a 15,000 bonus because of that power card. So if I did 62... What did SmackDown do? They did 56. And they made 27. Over on NXT, they did 49. And they made 63. And Paul Heyman did 46. And, and they made 68. And over here on the fake Twitter, I heard that Grimes walked out on ECW. I certainly hope that he did. So... That being said, with all of that being done, health spa number three on the power card, Vito Champ is great, but I can't use it on PLA. So what good is it really? And still in first place, but man, my budget is in fourth place.
And so back up around 30k for the lead here, but I gotta maintain that end to get these trophies. And here are the contracts. All right, so Cameron Grimes did indeed come over to Raw, thank God. But I was a little scared there for a second. It was a little rough. So, Braun Breaker, how much do you want? Five weeks and 70k. I mean, that seems like a lot. Let's talk figures, Braun. Let's talk numbers. How about 49k? Um, because I just don't want to spend that much on Braun Breaker. You are a 10. Not 15, not 20, 10 Braun Breaker. So, how about $49,000? I'll take it. He is no longer smiling, but we managed to get through that conversation. So, good. Cameron Grimes. Good to be here on Raw. Raring to go. So, Cameron Grimes is going to be in some matches as a third wheel or fourth wheel. Soon. Real soon. And LA Knight is psyched for the PLE. Well, look, man. I'm psyched, too, to finish that feud. However, if Paul Heyman says nah, then it's nah. So, I don't know. But yes, we are at three out of five now on the trophy that we need. And so working on these other goals here in the meanwhile is kind of the idea. But boy, am I short on budget. That's going to be a rough time. 15 members on this roster and the morale. Nobody is mad about it. No, I'm sorry. Andre is still kind of mad about it. But otherwise, we're okay. Which means the Go Home Show happening tomorrow. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. I'll see you next time. And I'm out.